you're watching live at Spectrum. Tonight, two last names. And Electric Yeti. Please welcome your hosts, Brett Glover and Mel Pollard. We've got a very live wire audience in tonight. How are you, audience? Yeah. <laughs> We're in Top Gear now, live at the Spectrum. <laughs> I just said it, live at the Spectrum. You know, for four years we've been doing this show. It's live at Spectrum, and we get great support from our local media outlets, but uh, often they get the name wrong and call it live at the Spectrum, which is strange. So a big call out tonight, please, uh, to get those names completely right. If you need more information, you can email me, brettglover at thehotmail.com.au, and uh, please don't get in contact Monday nights because I'm too busy watching Game of the Thrones. That'd be fantastic. Uh, please welcome Mel the Pollard. Yeah. 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 Hey, Mel. Look, um, just for accuracy's sake, yeah. it's the Mel. Thanks. Oh, just the yeah, Mel, just straight the up Mel. the Mel. Yeah, thank you. You're looking fantastic, you know. Thank always you. Uh, commenting on your hair. You take a lot of time getting your hair right for every episode. And I'm not to touch it at any stage. Never. <laughs> Never. But uh, did you know that you're having quite a bit of influence all over the world at the minute and, in fact, your hair has now reached pop culture? Yeah, look, it's, it's just something that's <laughs> happened and, you know, good on everybody for having a crack at it, you know. Now, spoiler alert, or it won't be much of a spoiler, I promise you, but I, t I took my uh, son to watch uh, Endgame, that Marvel uh, film yesterday that he really enjoyed. But uh, Captain Marvel made her first appearance and guess what? Here she is. Look at that! She's got the Mel Pollard! Yes, yep. Captain the Marvel! Yes, yeah, look, I, 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 that's a surprise actually. I'm, I'm actually really feeling like it's really starting to catch on. That's, that's huge. I'm feeling really humbled right now. Oh, wow. Carol Danvers there, I thought you were going to... You, that was a surprise and you didn't know that was coming. It was coming. a surprise. <laughs> and I can't see because I haven't got my glasses on. All but right, we'll show, <laughs> we'll show you later. It's really okay. funny. <laughs> now, tonight, if you'd like to get in contact with the show, we've got a great opportunity for you to be involved. It's something I can't believe we haven't spoken about before, but uh, often uh, a, a favourite uh, question for musicians is, what's your favourite album? So we're reaching out to our viewers tonight to find out what your favourite album is. Mel, what's your favourite album? Depends on what day it is, yeah, but yeah. Um, look, I had to take a punt on this one and just uh, random generator, and I came up with uh, Jagged Little Pill by Alanis Morissette. Yeah, sweet. Remember when that hit? Yeah, oh yeah. Were you an angry young lady? Oh, jeez, I was. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so there are ways to get in contact with the show tonight. We want people to send in their photo of them holding their favourite albums, and I think we've got some... Uh... We actually do have a few already, which is fantastic. We've got some crew ones. Okay. I think, yeah, I reckon we might get stuck into those. What yeah, do you think? absolutely. Let's get yeah. them up. This gets the uh, ball rolling on this. Uh, what, what are some of the crew's favourite albums? Oh. oh, that's me. That's my favourite album is me, of course. <laughs> yes. Arrogance is a curse. What else is there? What else have we got? Summer 87, man. Oh, that's a... You know what? I well, actually morning. had this on cassette myself and classic. Cl oh, oh, another Ready classic. Pretty some, uh, just some blank DVDs there. <laughs> yeah, very good. Oh, Iron Maiden there. Wow, Wayne. Yeah, nice he loves, lo loves, he looks like a heavy metal head fan, doesn't he, old oh, Wayne? Now, this is the one I didn't get. This is Mrs Mills. I think that was a funny one. Thanks, Loz. And the other one... XTC. ...is from 1979. This is apparently is the band that influenced In Excess. Have any of you ever heard of XTC? No? OK, there you go. Lauren, I had not heard of that one either, but she obviously loves it. What else have we got there? James uh, Last. Jace. Extra long play. James Last is orchestra and singers. Is that serious? I don't know. Let's find out. We might, might see if we can get some of that on playing for you later on. Oh, look at this. The land of sticky fingers pleasure. <laughs> what the heck? It's a bit risque, but... <laughs> oh, here we go, Joe. What's it? Perfect tri... Oh, it's this tripod. Very good. Some great albums out Eddie there. Perfect we got any tripod. more there as yeah. well? How, oh, oh there Mel, well, there you go with yeah. Jagged Little Pill. Yes. Awesome album. Now, how can viewers get in contact tonight? Well, we have a few ways, actually. Yeah, uh, if you're on the Facebook page already, uh, just shoot us through a, a message on there. Otherwise, you can SMS us on uh, 0411 148977. Thank goodness I remember that because oh, I forgot that? my card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how you do it. We've got a great big show for you tonight. Uh, we don't have a full band as such, but we do have a full band sound with Electric Yeti. Let's give it up for Electric Yeti in tonight. Yeah. He's going to be playing all these instruments at the same time. Uh, we're having a great chat. 
it with Adrian. Now, I've got to ask Adrian how you pronounce your last name. Darakai. Adrian Darakai is in to talk about the uh, one-way traffic that's uh, <laughs> causing a problem all over Warrigal at the minute. Any Warrigal viewers, you'll know what we're talking about. But our uh, first guest tonight, uh, she comes from central Gippsland. She's got two last names and she's not afraid to use both of them. Please welcome to Live at Spectrum, two last names. Yeah! <laughs> Hello. All right, all right, all right. Thanks heaps. This song is called Too Young, Too Old, and it's when I had a quarter life crisis, which is like every second day. Um, yes, sir. Too young to be old, too old to be young. I haven't been ID. Since I was 13, I was the cluster of their call. If I was them, I would have asked, Hey, hey, how old are you? You seem too old to damn mature to still be in school. Well, now I drive to my eye. Fancy pants, you're off, but my pants aren't fancy at all. They're stained and unwashed. Hands on the dash and crusty peels in the glove box But I still rock up, get shit done And remember to say, can't you have a good one to my boss? Is this the time of my life or is my eye? Life flashing by, should I stay home then die? Too young to be old, too old to be young in between where the forgotten ones Too young to be old Too old to be young Stuck in between where the forgotten ones And I'd be stoked if I never set a foot in a club again But I still complain about my mates being lame And going home at 1am And screamo and techno getting old I switch to AM radio, but bones piss me off and I get bored. And marriage scares me, I'm not ready, but I already know how I'm gonna propose to her. Think about it regularly. And I miss my uni days, but then I daydream about being retired and grey. Retired and grey. Time of my life, or is my eye? Life flashing by, should I stay home then die? Is this, is this the time of my life, or is my, is my eye? Life flashing by, should I, should I stay home then die? Stay home then die? Stay home then die? Too young to be old, too old to be young. Stuck in between where the forgotten ones Too young to be old Too old to be young Stuck in between where the forgotten ones Should I, should I have the time of my life or should I, should I Stay home and die, should I, should I have the time of my life or should I, should I, should I should I, should I, should I stay home then? Die. Thank you. All right. Ariba, this one's a bit uh, sad, Saki. It's a bit emo. Sad, Saki, that's a genre. Look it up. Come on, man. It's genres all the time. Uh, it's called Ya, Ya, Ya. And uh, you'll find out why very soon. Very soon. Yeah, let's get a bit slower, yeah? Ooh. Ooh. Techno remix. Let me just fiddle with something. Hold on. I blame the Spectrum for their leads. All mine were broken, you see? Like... to 
myself you think I'm you think that I'm you think that I'm true you think that I'm true to myself but I've stopped listening to pop punk I've stopped ordering the cheap stuff I've stopped wearing what I want even my old favourite sweater I've stopped talking with strangers I haven't been on a skateboard in ages I've stopped doing what I love the whole world is fucking judging you're as different as you say Why are you the same as all your mates? Show me something genuine, genuine Yeah, 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 yeah You think that I'm You think that I'm true You think that I'm true to myself You think I'm You think that I'm You think that I'm true You think that I'm true to myself stops calling my loved ones stop telling you that you don't suck stops breaking my thongs on those sticky nightclub dance floors I started hanging out with mad lads but I've started retaining it you that I've started tolerating shit you shouldn't get away with if you're as different as you say why are you the same as all your mates show me something Jen Tops. tops. <laughs> it's a top. I had duct tape on it, sorry about that television crew, <laughs> but my duct tape stays, it's like ingrained on there. Nothing wrong with duct tape, it stops <laughs> things from moving, it's very good. Yeah. Now you asked uh, earlier in the piece when we were here rehearsing today, you said, what, what questions am I going to ask I was you? like, Brett, oh, here we go, you're going to grill me, I know you're going to give me uh, a curly and question. I said no, I said most of my questions are just about hyphenated names. Yeah, What's it's going to... Favourite album. Whoa, okay, this is, can, I, can I answer three parts? No worries, mate, come up. <laughs> <laughs> come here, mate. <laughs> what was your name? Come here, come here. You've done it now. What was your name? G'day, Live at Spectrum. I'm, uh, I'm uh, Rex. This is Rex. Rex got the first question. Hey, Rex's was... mum. <laughs> what was so the what's question, your, Rex? What's your favourite favorite Well, okay, so I, I like, I'm literally in pain for about two hours thinking of this. <laughs> so my first album I ever bought was Vulture Street Powderfinger when I was 10. Oh, yeah. So that's, yeah. So that's yeah. like a big yeah, thing for me. That got me into guitar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Blink 182, Enemy of the State. I don't care how lame it is now. I love that when I was high in high school. Right now, Courtney Barnett. Um, tell Courtney, me how you really uh, feel. Yeah. You can hear Courtney, can't you? Yeah, I can yeah. hear Courtney. Hey, Rex, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> just getting the ball rolling. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> All right, who else? Go on. Let's go. <laughs> I'm ready. Just don't worry. Just help, help yourself. Um, you, I can hear that Courtney Barnett influence. Yes, love you... Courtney. Oh, my gosh, she's so good. Well, what is it about her that's influencing so many young people at the minute? Oh, she's just so raw and, like, say that how it is. And, I, like, she just has that really authentic voice of just kind of half mumbling and stuff. And I love yeah. that. Yeah, I love it. I hate the kind of over-polished vocals. I kind of connect more with that real raw sound. Yeah. I love her lyrics. She just, like, tells an amazing story. She gets really descriptive with her lyrics. Stuff you'd never hear, yes. you know, and just really describes the scene. And I love that. Yeah, she's great. Has it and sort she's of a rock star? She just shreds the whole time. Yeah. Has it yeah. given you an opportunity to have a voice as well? Like you think, oh, if she can do that, then I want to have a crack at. Yeah. Had you been doing this, you know, pre Courtney? Um, well, I, I was in bands, but I never yeah. like wrote songs and sang because I still really don't consider myself like an amazing singer or anything. But like, <laughs> when I realised that, you know, you don't really need. Well, it's better if you have a great voice, but everybody can kind of have a crack and sing. You know, yeah, just, you have yeah. a great timbre in your voice, though, and it really it comes across as quite powerful. Oh, and the words that you're coming out with, too. My kids are probably watching this. You should have gone to bed before that last yeah, time. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Are you next. digging down deep into your emotions for this or is it just all spewing out now? Yeah, yeah, like that one's quite emotional. A lot of them are a bit silly, like the first song is a bit silly. Um, the next song's a bit silly too, Captain Smooth Sailor. Um, <laughs> but no, I try to make, yeah, it's very much like it's definitely, you know, every song comes from some deep emotions and I kind of need to get it out there. My favourite part of the whole thing is writing lyrics. Yeah. And, like fitting it in and working out how it actually fits into a song and, mm. you know, and just those like little clever lines that maybe no one even really picks up, but I know it's there kind of thing. Have you got any line you've written so far or you've, you've done it and then gone, oh, my, I wonder if anyone else has written this so far because I really love that line. You think it's like, yeah, someone else, oh, there's a few. Uh, the next song, well, my first song, my next song is, uh, what is it? Uh, I'd be real shredded if I didn't eat that cheddar. I'd be. <laughs> and I thought that was genius. Like, <laughs> I was. I wrote it down. Like, stopped, I stopped driving and wrote it in my notes. And I was like, I'm going to make a song starting from that line. And that's the next song. So, like in your first song, and it's one of the first songs I ever heard of yours um, through your Bandcamp site. Yeah, yeah. Which was too young to be old and too old yeah, to be yeah. young. And it's. Yeah. I think of Britney Spears. Not yet a girl. Not yet a woman. Or. <laughs> <laughs> But, Copy you, that, yeah. <laughs> 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 I can hear it. Uh, it uh, you feel like you're in that stage of your life at the minute? Britney Sp Spears? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Mouse Club? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, well, she's all right. Um, do I think I'm in, like, do I feel like I'm in the weird Is there a bit of angst there? Are you oh, in this, like, yeah. I'm too old to have my say, but too young yeah, to yeah, yeah, say Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, and I think as well, like, I feel like media coverage is often for young people. They're obsessed with young people and then they're obsessed with, like, families and stuff. And I feel yes. like I'm just in between. Righto. I, yeah, I am kind of definitely clinging on to the glory days. <laughs> but then I'm like, yeah, I love this. I'll go to this music festival with the best time. And I'm like, what am I doing, man? I'm being, like, I've been standing here for 20 hours. Like, the hangovers well, last Yeah, the hangovers longer, last like. longer. So, yeah, I definitely feel like, yeah, some days I'm, like, the youngest person ever. And I feel like I've, I feel like I've caught up to my age now. Yes. Before I felt like I was really mature and like wise as a young person, and now I'm like, oh, there, yeah, that's where I thought I was. <laughs> right, eh? And now I'm beyond it, you know? So you're forever learning, and you're based in Sale? Yes. Yep. And you're, you're part of the, uh, there's a bit of a, a gang of you guys, really, gang, that are yeah. getting around and hanging around, around here, yeah, on yeah, street yeah, events, yeah, set up, yeah. and having a great yeah, time influencing, yeah. and a, a really uh, a cultured, arty group of young people. Can you tell me about? Yeah, well, there's so Ella does a lot of poetry. Um, she does awesome uh, spoken word stuff. Um, and there's, you know, kind of all sorts of things. Uh, there's like the Ash who runs it. He's more of a rapper and a yes. hip hop influences. Um, so he DJs sometimes. So we all have very different genres. Louise kind of reads tarot cards and just <laughs> wings a song. Like she just makes it up <laughs> and just goes for it. So yeah, th and there's art on the walls and everything, visual art. So. There's all sorts of things happening, yeah. Yeah, Bond Street. Bond Street. At Bond Street, yeah. Street events, and it's yeah. fantastic to have a group of that influencing each other and, and supporting yeah. each other in that creative life as well. Yeah. In a in a small country town. Yeah. Now, Mel. Yes. We've been getting some hits online here so far. Any any favourite? We have, items? but um, just got some news in first. Yeah. Uh, we've just cracked eleven thousand likes. How oh, cool is wow, that? Wow, that's it. Yeah. 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 Eat that, Brittany. <laughs> coming for you. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So if you're watching and you haven't liked the show already, please make sure you give us a like because your likes mean that a third world um, country child gets fed. Oh, no, that's not true. I'm Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like that at all. Sorry. Look, I, it's, it's actually that I've, I've just had a, a moment of um, quite, I'm quite embarrassed actually. Yeah. Well, you know, we are talking about my hair earlier yeah. and, you know, how I was a bit of a groundbreaker and I just found out that I'm not and mm. I just I just kind of feel like it was like that time that um, Gwyneth Paltrow said that she she invented yoga. Yes. Um, yeah, so I was just feeling a little, a little, oh, back did to you. Did she say that? She did. <laughs> did she mean it? She totally did and she oh. was serious. Yeah, so I don't know. I think it's been done before and I just feel embarrassed now. Thanks. Oh, you look fantastic. I'm do it, I, I was yeah, fishing. Yeah, yeah that's all, so let's all get fishing. Mel's for the next episode. Oh, be fantastic. That'd be so cool. Could we dress like you as well? Yes. Yeah. Or you guys just switch, switch outfits. No, no, wear a suit. no yeah. problem. I can't Ooh. fill those pants. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna patch. We're gonna hug. We're gonna swap clothes. It's gonna be great for television. Wow. Isn't it? Yeah. Um, now you're gonna go have another, got another song for us coming. Got another song. Another song. Now I just hear your stuff rocking out, and I I envision that you'd love drums and bass. Yes, I've breaking news. Whoa, <laughs> exclusive. Yeah, all right. I'm jamming with the drummer next week. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Who have you got? So, Who have you, can you say? No, 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 no. Because okay. I might scare him off, you know. Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> like we have literally haven't jammed yet, but uh, he seemed keen, so that's good. Um, so yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Hope it works out. I'm sure it will. I'll keep you posted, Your mate. songs are rocking. I'll keep you posted. Yeah, can't wait to yeah, hear yeah. the updated versions. Brett, you can play bass whenever you want, mate. Thank you. That's right, what I was, I'll say, I was, yeah, I was no, drilling for sure. that. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. well, I'll let you get back on the old Fender and, you, right. and get ready for your final Sweet. song. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back the, uh, the rocking out tones of two last names. <laughs> is the Cheddar Song, <laughs> a.k.a. Captain Spoon Sailor. This is the dance part of the song, the only dance part. See? I'd be a real shredded if I didn't that chat I'd be real buff if someone taught me how to do the monkey bars Until I was about age, I'd be killing the rat race. But if I never met you, wasn't so smooth. But if I never met you, wasn't so smooth. Have another regret. If I bought less froth on top of pints and mugs, I'd probably have a house of stuff. I donate to causes, start my own business. I'd even shout my mum to dinner and tip the waiter. But if Have another regret. That time I, I, I spewed on the floor, completely missing the ball. That time I, I was late for an interview and blamed the traffic and the road work. That time I, I didn't stand up. For someone who needed it the time I, I laughed at a sexist joke just to fit in That time I, I, I walked past some rubbish Pretending I didn't see it That time I, I lost my phone in my wallet Dropped my iPod and ran over it That time I, I, I ran away from home And left a dramatic note That time I, I wrote a song about all the dumb shit I wish I hadn't done Yeah, I love that. Yeah, shredded. I didn't, I didn't get it when you said it in the interview, but now I get it. 
I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. I've got the relatable, same problem. Right, relatable content, yeah. Too much cheese. I get it. I get it completely. Uh, now, I didn't get asked a question. How many last names is acceptable? You've got two last names. How? how... Nah, keep it going, man. Three. <laughs> as many as possible. As, you know, I haven't met a three last names person yet, but I would love to. If anyone's listening, watching right now, who has three last names, hit me up. Just go. I'm right, a... Just add them on. Join my cult. <laughs> <laughs> And I mentioned Bandcamp before, you can get your music from there. Is there any other yeah. way we can get in contact with you with them in Amber? You know, Facebook, Instagram, all that. Yeah. So there's demos up, but like I'm going to record some Ridgy Didge stuff with that mysterious drummer. Yes. That we haven't even jammed once, but it's, it's going to be fine. We'll, we'll, we'll record some things. <laughs> can't <laughs> wait to hear the end result with the, with, the, with the drums. It's already got so much energy, so all the best, and we can't wait to catch up with you Thanks, again. So, hey, thanks to Amber. To us, guys, Hey, before, you, before she disappears. Oh. Yes. Mel! Look, just before, uh, Amber, just before you disappear, there's a yes. bit of a love come through on social media for you, so I just wanted to share it while you're still here. Um, Anita says, yay. Uh, Amber, love it. Um, Blake from Dooney Way. Hey, Blake. Hey, Blake. Good to hear um, you again, man. Absolutely. From episode one, Mel. Yes, episode one. <laughs> yes. Which, yes. We're only up this to... this is episode two, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, he says, absolutely killing it, Amber. Um, and Craig, you... I don't know how to say that. <laughs> you um, you got to do this. You. Okay. You. Okay. I, I obviously didn't have enough hand action. I, I do apologise. Uh, two last names is so good. Um, oh, there's one in here looking gorgeous. Mel, thanks. Um, I love it when they slip those ones in. You do. You write those yourself, don't you? Stop it. Yeah, right. I thought so. <laughs> and, yeah, that's all I've got for you. So, um, thank you. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Two last names. Can't wait to hear back from Amber in the very near. Now, just like uh, Live at Spectrum, well, here we are. We're an internet sensation. We also have another local internet sensation in the studio with us tonight, all the way from Warrigal. Please welcome Adrian Durakai. Come up, Adrian. Thank you. How are you going? Hey, mate. Sorry. Good to see you. Let's <laughs> do that one. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> now, Adrian, you're involved with the uh, local theatre scene in uh, Warrigal. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Warrigal and Langatha, just, you know, all around, really. I just love, love theatrical stuff, usually musical theatre stuff, yeah. Were you, like, at a young age putting on puppet shows for mum and dad and all this stuff? No, like no, I did write a... <laughs> when I, I was do that, sorry. When I was about seven, I did write a song um, for a girl that I had a crush on. It was yeah. called um, Stand Near Me, Emma. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> that was probably as close as I could get physically. Yeah. Um, so, Stand Near Me, that's enough, you know. Cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he went, Stand Near Me, Emma. Stand near me, Emma. Emma. Please. <laughs> oh, the sixth time you did this. I was very polite with it. So, yeah, that was yeah. followed up by her hit, of course, which was called Personal Space, Adrian. Yeah, yeah. So the other was, <laughs> yeah, I haven't heard that one, so... Yeah, yeah anyway. Right, it's a great track. Now, you've uh, recorded a song. Uh, yeah. it, is this controversial? Because it's about something uh, that's happening in Warrigal at the minute. Yeah, look, um, yeah. <laughs> so I, uh, I went to school in Warrigal and I live there now. Yep. And um, over the last, uh, I don't know, couple of years, they've been changing some roads and making them from two, two way to one way. And um, look, you know, as a, a resident there, it's a bit frustrating when you drive through it. But um, no one that I've spoken to actually likes likes it. So uh, I, I thought, you know, so I like writing songs and there's a there's a topic that I think people could relate to. So. Is, is there a bit of anger in Warrigal about this? Or is, oh, is outrage. Of... Outrage. <laughs> Just, you know. Yeah. So it is you've on got, the jovial side. I you, imagine you've got world be some poverty angry. and yeah. then you've got one-way streets in Warrigal. <laughs> like, it's right up there. It's an election issue. It's an issue. <laughs> Well, the election's coming up, so yeah, you're yeah. about getting into politics off the back of no, the No, no, I'm not, but you? Bill and ScoMo, if you're watching, <laughs> just get on it. Adrian, he's ready to serve. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, what inspired you to write a song about local traffic conditions? Look, I just... Oh, so ten years ago, I'd written a song about the pedestrian crossings. Because oh. I thought, yeah, I don't know, I guess the <laughs> next question would be what inspired you to write a song about pedestrian crossings. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so the songs that I write, uh, usually I, I grew up on pop and, um, and I just love uh, sort of up uplifting, positive pop messages and usually quirky enough to, to do that. And I prefer writing songs for other people to sing, but there's some that just slip by and are probably too quirky for other people to... Yeah. I think what we might do now is we might show the clip yeah. and I'll get you back to ask you uh, about the making of it and how you went about it. Sure. Oh, God, that'd be fantastic. Uh, please, this is the... I'll get you to introduce the song for us, Adrian. Yeah, so this is One Way in Warrigal uh, by Adrian Darakai. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It 
must have started as a crazy idea on a napkin in a pub as they were having beers. Those engineers, the councillors, the town planner, they hatched a plan and it couldn't have been any matter. Put into action, people did what they suggested. Restrict the roads until they're less congested. Uninterested in community reflection, now half the CBD is stuck in one direction. Going one way in Warwick, all it might be the wrong way. It may be illogical. I guess today I won't be available. I'll still be going one way, one way in Warwick, all one way in Warwick. All I hope I don't need to go to the hospital. Cause if I do, I'm screwed and I'll have to suture myself. Going one way, one way in Warwick. Before the works, Palmerston Street was just fine. You could get to where you wanted, you could walk, you could drive. But now I see in people's eyes the looks of consternation. Their furrowed brows create an angry looking population. The council seems to satisfy itself with our halt. It's at least the second time they've instigated revolt. A decade ago, crossings for pedestrians overwhelmed the town. I wrote a song in jest of them. In Warwick, all you'd think to get the roads right, it wouldn't be impossible. The decision making has been deplorable. Now we're stuck one way, one way in Warwick, all one way in Warwick. All I hope I don't need to go to the hospital. Cause if I do, I'm screwed and I'll have to suture myself. Going one way, one way in Warwick. All from the railway hotel thinks it's absurd. Stacy from McDonald's says the idea's a giant turd. For Annabelle from Appaloos, it's the biggest laugh and it's a massive middle finger from all Osmosis staff. Maybe you enjoyed making that film. Look, <laughs> I had a terrible time. <laughs> no, it was great. It was great. We just spent... So um, I, I show them in the director of that show. He, he, he's into filming and stuff like that. So yeah. we just went around with an iPhone around <laughs> Warrigal Town for a few hours with some outfits and wigs. And, um, Did you get a few funny looks from the locals? No, not as many as I thought. Yeah. So <laughs> it, uh, it must happen regularly there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, it must, because you've got another song that you actually uh, yeah, just yeah. uploaded to Just YouTube uploaded, well. literally, you know, about five minutes before you the show started. You had internet, ladies. Yeah, I did, I did. <laughs> um, uh, we don't get it anymore. <laughs> um, no, so the song, the song that I've just uploaded is about anti-vaxxers. So it's a pro-vaccine stance, so it's sort of making light of anti-vaxxers. So it's a bit more controversial than <laughs> One Way Roads in Warrigal, but there you go. Pretty controversial. You've been yeah. getting quite a bit of feedback from uh, uh, people I'm, in the town as well. Yeah, quite about the Warrigal bits. one. About Warrigal, oh, yeah. yeah, just churning them out, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, public public messages, really. And they'll be at an LP soon, no doubt. Yeah, yeah, um, go on vinyl. <laughs> <laughs> hey, please uh, thank again, Adrian. I want to keep saying Dothraki. Darakite. Oh, you sorry. can say that. You're in the <laughs> Game of the Thrones. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. No, no worries. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Darakite, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well Making sure that the traffic is going two ways in Warrigal. Now, our next guest on Live at Spectrum, but before I do, I'm going over to Mel, aren't I? Hi, Mel. 
tell you. That's right. I forgot. Sorry. We had oh, a conversation okay. about this. Yeah. Because people have been going nuts online about their favourite albums. They have. So I reckon we should show some. What do you reckon? Absolutely. What do okay. we got? Okay. So first up, uh, we've got on the left, we have Angelo yeah. with uh, Gaucho. Is that how you pronounce that? I hope so. Steely, Steely Dan, Dan. Dan. that yes. album Gaucho, yeah. Yep, awesome. And on the right, we have Peter, uh, Stray Cats, 1981, and he learned yeah, guitar because of this. Yeah, look at that. He's got this. the guitar and the yeah. ink to go with that too. Yeah. That's awesome. Cool as. All right. Um, <laughs> we've got Riley Walsh with yeah, Bon Iver, Goes Down a Treat um, on the what, left. What's Riley listening to? What's that? Uh, bon Iver. Oh, right, all right, all right. Goes down the tree, yeah. And, uh, After 2000, I'll get blurry. I don't know what came out. <laughs> and uh, Ray's got uh, Los Lobos, The Neighbourhood. Nice. Underrated band, Los Lobos. Yeah. I remember they covered La Bumba in 89. Yeah. I thought that was great. I loved it. Oh, and over here we have... Hey, look at that. That looks all right. That looks it? like his body. <laughs> <laughs> that's and it's an X-Men. That's, that's very cool. <laughs> the Uncanny so, X-Men. We've got Grant and Kelly, Uncanny X-Men, Chisel and ACDC. So nice. We're going hard. We're going Love, hard here. In loving the, the vinyl. Tonight as well. is, can we get any more? Can they get sent in as well? What's that Absolutely. number again? Absolutely. So the number is 0411 <laughs> um, Or you catch us on Snapchat or, you know, call me. Call me now. <laughs> Thanks, Mel. Uh, coming up next on Live Inspection, we have got some, uh, well, rocky, bluesy, tub-thumping stuff all the way from me, Skip Slant. Because, ladies and gentlemen, if you can't find someone to do it for you, you just got to do it yourself. Please welcome Electric Yeti. <laughs> Over 
time Calling out to you again, yeah Speaking double time to another one. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is another original song. I hope you like it. You're gone in half a breath. Three days in, six days left She's gone on a wandering test I lie to protest Love hate is half a test I bought in to forget I breed a handsome dare She reels And I'm impressed Going to the end I know it's what you want 
She's on top again No way that she will burn She's gone half a test I'm born in to forget I breed a handsome den She reels, I'm in prayer Go into the end I know it's what you want She's on top again No way that she'll burn All this, so I thought I'd just come and join you. Oh, Is that right? you. Yeah, it's fine. How are you, Nick? Yeah, I'm good, Brett. How are Nick you Fisher, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, electric oh. Yeti, you've been calling yourself of late. Yes, that's the name. Is there any uh, reason you didn't uh, choose a Yowie or a Bunyip? You just went with the Yeti? Went with the Yeti, oh, you know, it was an old childhood nickname, you know, being oh, the hairy man I was. And um, <laughs> I just, you know, it was sort of the, the omnipresent nature of the Yeti, is sort of where I need to be at to do all these things at the same time. You haven't always done all these things at the same time. I know you've always been jack of all trades. I've seen you drumming in bands and, and singing and guitaring. Yeah. How long have you been doing this all at the same time? Um, it started late in 2017, and I spent uh, probably about four or five months just smashing it out. Yeah. Till I felt comfortable with it, and I've started gigging, I guess, since mid last year with it. Yeah. And did, you, you've got the actual drums. I, I've seen other people do this sort of setup, yep. myself included, actually. And yep. I'm always tempted to get like those Roland electronic pads. Yes, yes. But they sound shit. That's right. <laughs> and I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a traditionalist, and I like you know old school tones. I've got the nice 1970s Yamaha jazz yeah. kit there. You know, I'm in love with and yeah. Well, as soon as you started playing, it just all came to life and just fit together so well. Is this because you've got no friends? Like, hey, why do you, why do you play in <laughs> well, <laughs> well, as you know, I play in a bunch of bands, but it was at that stage, uh, late 2017, where the Dirty Souls disbanded. Um, just, we nearly had the Dirty Souls here yeah, on the show. That's right, yeah, that's um, right, just due to location stuff. And um, I had a studio at home, and I was like, I still want to be in a band. I don't just want to be a solo guitar dude. So I just came at this idea and slowly developed the foot stuff and this fella and... This is genius, this thing, because I've seen so many people play with bass and uh, it's snare and then maybe another pedal for a cymbal or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But just to have that off the side, doing it yeah. after a cymbal, because <laughs> you're strumming anyway, so you yeah, might well, as well touch it. I wanted, I didn't, yeah, I wanted to have the cymbal in there so I could do full beats while I'm, you know, playing the guitar. And it was sort of at the start, it's sort of like doing a drive-by on your guitar for yeah. every thing. So yeah. the approach had to change and, yeah, just developed that way. Is it really noticeable that you've got that extra weight on there when you're strumming? Or are you kind of used to that now? I'm, I'm used to it now, but it did... One arm's more muscly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but it did take a lot of mucking around to get this beautiful thing where it <laughs> needs to be. <laughs> it is beautiful. It doesn't look like you've gone into the, uh, the your music store and bought this brand new. Can you give us a bit of a... a tour around your setup. Oh, okay. So, um, oh, well, the foot pedal on the snare is just a kick drum pedal and I've modified a... Pete, you got to get this because... A, the Pete, a bit to... It's like um, half a stick there, not a full yeah, stick. Yeah, it's half a stick and it's got a weight on it so it can, you know, so it's got enough weight to go back and forth. Yeah. Um, what else? 
So this fella... Yeah, you didn't notice... I you haven't didn't used quite this. use that today, but I sometimes rest him on my hi-hat to get a, some extra tone. What does that sound like? Um, it's a bit... It's a bit... Uh, it's a bit... It's like electric wire. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, did you cut that yourself? Or did you no, well, like, I had the idea, but an engineering mate of mine did it for me. He just did it freehand on his um, grinder, so, yeah. Right, oh. Yeah, it was cool. Um, and yeah, this took a lot of time, the placing of these, because I'd often get stuck in there <laughs> yeah, and right. whatnot. And it just turned out it's, uh, you know, it's just a shift of the body to get from the cymbal to the hi hat. Because we did a story at Snap Alley where I first saw yeah. a vision of you doing this, and I was sure you just had something sticky taped to your little pinky finger. No, it was, it was always that's like not that, a bad it? idea, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, how are your joints? How are my joints? You, you, no, yeah, you, <laughs> you know what's funny? When I drew that, when I did that question, I actually did draw a picture of a little smoking doobie. But I am talking about your muscle joints because you're, you're bouncing up and down. On, I know, so you, you got extra weights on here and your guitar's jolting up and down while you've got this leg going up and down. Oh, it was funny when I first started doing it and I'd do it for like two hours at a time, I'd get up and I felt like a monkey because my feet and my legs were just had so much more sensation to them <laughs> and just created this whole new neural pathway to the bottom <laughs> half of my body. Speaking of joints here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now Dave Williams, we've got to give a shout out for Dave, your old oh, mate yeah, Dave, yeah, the yeah. musician from Bansdale as well. Uh, he tried to sabotage your show tonight and yeah, he had a big bit of red sticky tape on the front of your drum. Yep, yep. What was that? Oh, you know, you know Dave. Yeah, you know. I do. <laughs> he just he just likes to write obscenity, obscenities here and there and <laughs> everywhere. And I noticed it. I noticed it um, the other day and went, oh god, that you can't see it, but it might show up in the lights <laughs> on live spectrum. So that's what the red tape's for. Is that right? Yeah. You, your name's not F bomb or anything. No, like no. That. Electric Yeti. Now, what's your favourite album? Oh, man, that's a big question for this. a musician. I know. Because it's sort of like. Your favourite album at what point in time? Because I've got a lot of albums I love, but probably wouldn't listen to them now. But I guess, um, you know, Jeff Buckley's Grace yeah. is an incredible album. So, you know, I think in my late 20s I got right into that. Um, Queens of the Stone Age, the um, Songs for the Deaf. Yes. Mm. Well, I think when that came out, that was just a, a bit of a mind blower. And in the Buckley realm, the other one I was thinking as was Tim Buckley's Greetings from L.A. Yeah. Mm. yeah really good jam album, amazing singer. Yeah. And with that songs uh, for the deaf, I can hear that tone in your, yeah, right. in your guitaring as well. Okay. In fact, we've had uh, two Telecasters in the studio tonight. What's yeah. it about that particular guitar that well, um, makes you want to play it? This is an awesome Brett Tippett's guitar because my, <laughs> my guitar decided to die this week. All so right. I'm on, I'm on loan, but... Um, yeah, maybe it was Jeff Buckley inspired, but oh, it just goes with the Marshall so well, you know. Yeah. It really gives me that tone I need, and it's sort of not quite Jimi Hendrix, you know, with the strat through the Marshall. So I've sort of got my own tone using the, the front pickup here. Yeah. It's nice and warm. Well, it's a tremendous full sound you're creating here. I, I, if you've done this in the last two years, you, you say you've been doing this for. Yeah, about 18 months, yeah. Yeah, man, and quickly picked it up. Well done. We're loving it. Can't wait to see it again. In fact, we're going to play another song in a minute. But before we do, Mel... Yes. Because there's been lots of people uh, getting in and telling us about their favourite album. Oh, absolutely. We haven't asked the audience yet about their favourite albums yet. I think we'll have to get to that very, very soon. Okay. But, but first, um, we did actually get a message through from Roland. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, and, Roland. Um, yeah, That's look, just one sponsor gone? We uh, had yeah, one sponsor yeah. and I just blew it. Yeah, they just said, look, forget it. Yeah, um, right. So, they don't yeah. sound shit. They sound <laughs> right. Who's Roland? <laughs> Who's that? You know those foot pedals they make? Those little pads, the Roland yeah, keyboard? Yeah, I've, I've heard about You've them. You've heard them? Yeah, people, people keep they trying to like, tell me that. They yeah. sound great. They're wonderful. But yeah, I'll take a sponsor. That'd be yeah. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I think we blew it, mate. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Um, if you look behind you, if you can, if your neck is goes in 360, um, hey, <laughs> to Billy. left you've got Billy. Yeah, Billy's uh, coming with uh, sex, drugs and the sound of music. So sound of music is on in Bansdale at the middle, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to catch that. Uh, and um, on the right, we've got Scott, who's got... Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. This is a, a Norwegian band. Uh, yeah. I think they're called Burzum. If I've said that wrong, I do apologise. Um, but it's fueled his band for 25 years. Um, the album is Der Som Engan Var. 
Um, that was my best Norwegian. <laughs> right, eh? I don't even know what it means, but I do apologise if it was something rude. Um, Jesse, small town alien. Oh, yeah. 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 Flies in traffic. Man, oh. there is someone we'd like to see on the show too before yeah. the year's out. That would be nice. Have you ever seen small town alien doing his thing? Oh, I haven't, but I've seen their clips on uh, Facebook. <laughs> oh, actually, can I... Adrian, you'd love it. <laughs> Um, I just, I've just got word in from um, in the office above yep. that doesn't exist that um, <laughs> he's actually going to be on very soon. Is he? Yes. I've been trying to get him through his phone for three years. He doesn't answer it usually. Got a is text that real? message, yep. It's true. Small Ten Arlen's coming on. You'll get awesome. to check that one out too. Awesome. Yep. yep. Um, and here we go. Uh, Penny, Van Halen's 5150. Great album. Uh, you're the only one that obviously knows what, what it is. Van Halen. Um, <laughs> Van Halen. <laughs> Everyone's just a few Good crickets in the audience here. Uh, oh, no, here we go. Uh, Anya? Two albums. Are we allowing two? <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, there's the crickets. Can't decide. Edison Lake and Palmer, The Works. What have we got there? Morning uh, versus Morning of the Earth. Earth. That's, a, that's yeah. the uh, movie soundtrack, right? Um, look, you know, <laughs> I just read the cards. I don't Come know on, what Captain anything Marvel. means. All right. <laughs> We've got Ash, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, The Boatman's Call. Yeah. I do you like myself a bit of Nick Cave? What about you, audience? What are your favourite albums? Let's chat out a couple. Okay, great. Um, we're going to move on. Look, uh, can you please welcome back... Are you ready to roll? I'm ready to roll. <laughs> He's limbered up. He's got his joints ready. Please welcome back Electric Yeti. Yeah. See you then. Uh, till then, go and see a band somewhere. Good night. Yeah. Yeah.